my daughter and son-in-law that live in Maine have this truck they bought and have restored. It's still kind of work in progress, still lots that Eric wants to do on it, but it is, I think, pretty darn cool. Here it is. Hi everyone, my name is Lisa and my husband Eric and I recently bought a truck. It is a 1969 International Harvester Lodestar 1700. Today I'm going over some of the things that sold us on this truck. One of the selling points for us is the fact that this is a fire truck. We don't need a fire truck, but we appreciate the uniqueness and regness of it. Another selling point is the winch. Once again, this is not something that's necessary, but it's really nice to have. You'll notice some rust on the front and rear bumpers and on some of the chromed items for the truck. For a truck of this vintage and considering we're in New England, this truck is in really good shape. Lastly, this truck only has 15,000 miles on it, which is great load mileage for any vehicle. We are planning to refurbish the engine and take off the tank. Over the course of the last couple of years, Eric's done a ton of work on this vehicle, including replacing the clutch, new starter, welding a cracked head, redoing most of the electrical, redoing and inspecting the brakes and the four-wheel drive system, and uh, uh, just a ton of little miscellaneous fixes and corrections like you need to do with any old truck. This truck is a 1969 International Lodestar 1700 4x4. It has the original 392 V8 gas engine. It's got a 5-speed manual transmission which has a compound low and 4 over-the-road gears. There's no 2-speed rear end. There's no overdrive. The four-wheel drive, we believe, was an aftermarket addition by Maxim, which was the fire equipment company that turned the chassis into a fire truck. It was originally part of a local fire department and was used for forestry-type firefighting. Then it was used for a fire protection for a lumber company. We think the box and the tank were new in the 90s. Um, Eric has obviously removed the tank and the pump and just plans to use the truck as a parade truck. The tires are on split rims. Um, the wheels are Dayton type. They must be torqued evenly and true. So after all the work they've done, the truck is looking pretty good. Here's a bunch of current pictures and video of the, of the rig.
right, so tell me what all these levers are. Okay, so this is four-wheel drive, engage, disengage, downs engaged, up is disengaged. This is referred to as the trolley brake or the parking brake. The standard uh, gear shift lever to the left of that. Uh, normal IH shift pattern, one reverse on the left, two, three, four, five. Uh, two, three, four, five are the road speeds. And we've got the um, transfer case, high, low, neutral, or high is down, neutral, middle, and then low is up. And then we've got on the left, the rear PTO, which uh, formerly ran the fire pump. And then why does it have the, what you call the trolley brake and the little lever lock brake? Um, this brake, I believe, was added as part of the fire truck mod.
this is the odd man out